Hey guys, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're unboxing the brand new 14 inch MacBook Pro powered by the new M5 chip. And this update is all about AI power, insane speed, and 24 hour battery life. Let's unbox it, test out the new features, and see if it lives up to its hype. Let's get into it. Now from the outside, it looks familiar, but inside it's a whole new machine. The M5 chip has a neural accelerator in every GPU core, which means it's up to 3.5 times faster for AI tasks and 1.6 times faster for graphics than last year's M4. So if you're using AI tools for image generation or Final Cut AI enhancements, this chip absolutely flies. Now the M5 brings what Apple calls a huge leap in AI performance. It's also the very first MacBook running Mac OS Tahoe and honestly it is a complete refresh. You need to see Mac OS Tahoe in action. Let's start with design. Tahoe introduces the new liquid glass aesthetic. Windows and menus have this translucent glowing look that reacts to different wallpapers. It's really subtle but makes everything look extremely futuristic. As you can see I've been using Using liquid glass on my iPhone 17 Pro Max, so I'm excited to finally have it here on my MacBook Pro. As you can see, it's super fluid, and on M5, you can see it really shines. It's fast, responsive, and honestly feels like the next generation of tech. Not only can your liquid glass be clear, you can also have it tinted to match whatever photos and color scheme you like. I'm definitely gonna go for a pink tint for sure. Now, as someone who brings their MacBook with them everywhere, I love how seamlessly my iPhone and Mac can work together. As you guys already know, you could mirror your iPhone right to your Mac, reply to texts, messages, and look through apps without even having your phone with you. Now, it's very useful having live activities pop up on your Mac's menu bar. You can see real-time updates for when your Uber driver is arriving, when your package is being delivered, or even flight alerts. There's also improved handoffs where you can start an email on your phone and then hand it off to your MacBook seamlessly. These are some of the tiny features that make working on an Apple ecosystem extremely seamless. And now the new phone app on MacBook is so good. You can make and take phone calls right from your Mac, check recents, contacts, and even voicemail. It literally feels like your Mac and iPhone are thinking as one. Next, Apple is doubling down on AI integration. Apple intelligence is built right into your system now. You can use live translation in messages or FaceTime. It even translates audio live. And Smart Shortcuts lets you automate things like organizing photos or generating summaries. Spotlight got a major update too. You can now search and do direct actions right from Spotlight. For example, you can create a note straight from your search bar. It's easy, smart, and extremely useful. And if you're like me and bring your MacBook with you everywhere, you're gonna be happy that the MacBook Pro now has 24 hour battery life. For all those students watching right now, I wish I had that back in university. And we've got all the ports, HDMI, USB-C, SD card slot. We got our MagSafe charging port, two more USB-Cs, and a headphone jack. Now, last year we got the nano texture display and I seriously don't think I could live without it. I'm so happy that my M5 MacBook Pro is also nano texture display. If you guys haven't tried it, it is definitely a level up. Now, someone who works in planes, cafes, and a lot of different lighting situations, the nano texture display is a must have upgrade for me. As you can see, there's barely any glare. It looks incredible. I love this display. From outside, it looks familiar, but inside it's a whole new machine. The M5 chip has a neural accelerator in every GPU core, which means it's up to three 0.5 times faster for AI tasks and 1.6 times faster for graphics than last year's M4. So if you're using AI tools for image generation, Final Cut AI enhancement, this chip absolutely flies. Now, as you guys can see, if you create a new folder, it's also in that pretty pink color. I love that. I also feel like adding in widgets is a lot more seamless and everything has such a nice look to it. Everything is a little different as you can see our little display here and turning up volume lower and higher here as well. As you can see in Spotlight, we can click on apps like this, folders like that, actions, 
and clipboard search. Very cool. That also makes it a lot easier to find things you're looking for. See if I'm searching for a screenshot, everything. Messages, QuickTime player, screenshots. It just makes it a lot easier to find things. Now, if you press the up arrow on the keyboard, you can actually see the last things that you put in here as well. Also in messages, you can change the backgrounds, set it to any of these or even a photo you took yourself or something from Image Playground. I really like this a lot. Now this is what our M5 MacBook Pro looks like, but there are so many customization options. So let's customize it together. We're gonna start by heading over to Pinterest and just searching aesthetic wallpaper and MacBook. There's so many different options. So I'm just gonna save a few that catch my eye. I love changing them every so often. So I'm gonna save a bunch right now. Now we're gonna head over to system settings, click on wallpaper, and now we can add a photo. So here are a few of the photos that I added in and we can just see how they look on our wallpaper and see which one we're gonna go with. I am very into this one. I also have this one, that's my podcast, but let's do this. It's chill and beautiful and reminds me of spring. <laughs> now we're gonna go to appearance. Now here's the fun part. We have all these new color schemes that we can change. As you can see, this changes right here. We are going to put it in clear. That's a cool option, but I kind of want it to be tinted. Here are our options down here, or this is what it looks like down here with the apps. But if you want to change the color to match something in your wallpaper, you can do that. Or you can just choose a color like this, green, pink, red, but we are gonna choose our own color. So we're gonna use color picker. And now we're gonna pick a pretty pink from here and we can change the opacity like this. So now we have a little bit of a darker pink. Let's make it a little lighter. And I really like that. You can also choose the text highlight color as well. I'm making everything pink on mine. Now, while we're here, we are going to change the clock. This is another new feature, which I think is really fun. So here we go on our wallpaper, we can click clock appearance. And there's all these new options here. I want to use this one. It matches my iPhone and pull it down to be a little thinner. I think that looks really nice. So let me show you what it looks like. Do you see this? Love that. And you can see it still has the liquid glass look and display. Now I want to add in some widgets. So right click, click on add widgets. So let's grab in our date. I like that. By the way, you can move it anywhere you want. Like it can just freely go anywhere, but I think I might put one here and the rest on the left side. We're going to add chat GBT to our wallpaper, of course. Let's do a little clock. I like that one. Oh, you could add in Instagram messages. That's kind of cool. Put in your DMs there. I think that might distract me from work though. <laughs> Ooh, Kindle, what I'm currently reading. I like that. Let's do that. And let's add in this. That's enough for now. I think we need to connect our iPhone first to get the Kindle app to work. So this is a book I actually got recommended on TikTok. So if I do Kindle, oh, it automatically goes to iPhone mirroring to my book. Okay, you know what? I actually don't want that. And now we're just gonna add in our charge what's charging the batteries of all of our devices. So I'm loving how this is looking. The next thing we have to do for sure is to add in folders. And as you guys can see, the folder matches everything. Stunning. So not only can you do that, you can change it to any of these colors. As you can see, they're changing. I think like that would be cool for like work and not work stuff, but you can also add in emojis. So look, all of the different options. So I think I'm going to make this folder a white heart and this will be maybe personal, personal folder. Love that it's pink and matches. And now let's add another folder and name it work. We're going to customize the folder and because it's work, I think I might make it gray and the emoji can be maybe the girl on her laptop. Here 
she is. And there we go. I'm going to make it the blonde girl. Perfect. So now we have personal and work in the corner. And all of our apps down here that pop out. I love it. This is a very fun and easy, quick way to customize your laptop. I cannot wait to change it every few weeks or whenever I have a new wallpaper. I love it. What do you guys think? Now, should you upgrade? If you're coming from an M1, absolutely. Now, if you're coming from the M4 chip, the jump isn't as big, but the new AI performance and Tahoe features definitely make it feel a lot more futuristic. All right, guys, that is my first look at the brand new M5 MacBook Pro. I'll be testing it more for editing AI apps, creative workflows, and let you guys know what I think when I'm using it on my day-to-day -day life. So make sure to hit subscribe if you like this video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye!